Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Dungus and oh god. This this one's gonna be uh maybe a good one for weebs and otakus like me. I'm an otaku, I don't know if you guys are weebs though. Uh watch more anime, read more manga. Anyways, today's video <laughs> uh as you can tell from the title, I joined the Akatsuki uh, at my school. And there's this big group of weaves, and it's kind of crazy, so I just want to get straight into the video. Before I get straight into the video, you better like the video, or else, or else, I'm going to steal all your cookies and sell them to a Minecraft witch. And then she's going to shoot you with a potion, and you're never going to see cookies ever again. Your friends can see it, but you can't, which is the bad thing about it. Anyways, I don't care. Let's get into the story. So the story starts off when I, f the first day, not the first day, but the first few days of school when I went, first went back to school. And I went back to school and my friend, uh, in this video, we're going to call him, um, drug. No, not drug. Uh, we're going to call him Damon. Damon. My friend, he he went up to me and told me there was a big, huge group of weebs who were forming a kind of Ikakuski group from Naruto. And when I first heard of it, I'm like, that's that's stupid. Not that, well, not I didn't say it was stupid, but what what I was with my other friend, he said that's pretty stupid. And we all both started yelling at him, and they said that they were like choosing they we had these little code names so they were looking for an itachi and so kidding out an emo freak who was looking who was an otaku no one knew i was an otaku until now so one day we had an art class and i was drawing you know i drew my favorite character is itachi from naruto so i drew itachi drew a few other drawings and they looked at it and they're like you're a god and then i looked up and i said what and they're like want to join the akatsuki and i'm like sorry no because i wasn't gonna join any stupid well not stupid but some kind of group that was the akatsuki and i was gonna be called itachi for the rest of my life and i'm gonna be bullied and so i left and i didn't join the akatsuki that day and so the next day i go to school and we're out on recess and i'm walking around with my friends and the dude, uh, pretty much the starter of all this, walks up to me and says, "Can you follow me? We gotta show you. I gotta show you something." And I'm like, "Okay." My friends look at me like, "Are you really gonna deal with this dude?" And I nod. And so they go off. They're still staring at the dude. But then he leads me, and he says, "Listen, I know you said no before, but please, we needed Itachi, and you're perfect for that." I look at him and I'm like, "What?" I'm not, what do you mean? And he looks at me and he says, we had these code names. So pretty much, I'm going to have a, a little little buddy named Kisame that looks like a freaking shark. And this dude was fat, okay? He was, he was pretty, pretty fat. And I'm going to call them by the Naruto names because that's pretty much what they were, what they were going by. And so his name was Toby, or Obito, crying, crying from Naruto. I'm going to call him Toby for now. So Toby walks up to me and asks me to join the Akatsuki. He keeps begging me. And so his friends come over. And so I, tr I was about to say no, but his friends go over. And the little fat kid, I didn't know his name. And he was going to be my partner, which was Kisame. I said, uh, sure. Because I didn't feel like being beat up by a bunch of, uh, a bunch of low-skilled weebs. Okay. And so I said, and so they're all excited, and they introduce me to the group, and they pretty much say, do you have any Tachi ring? And me being an otaku, I say, yeah, what about it? And they're like, perfect. I knew you were the right one. And they introduce me to all the group members, pretty much the same name, like Sasori. They pretty much call each other by the Naruto names. And they say, this is your partner. And I'm like, wait, a partner? They're like, yeah, it's kind of like the really Kaksuki. We have partners. Is that okay? And I'm like, uh, sure. And so I'm like, where is my partner? And he points to the little fat kid, as I said before. He had some glasses on. And he literally looked like 
he could drop kick somebody at any second. Okay, if I beat, if I, okay, if I stood next to this kid, I would literally be a midget, okay? This kid was fat and he was tall, okay? So I look at him and I said, hello, and I, and I say, uh, hello, and he looks at me, he says, hi, with a real smile, a grin on his face, and I'm like, ah, this year's gonna be a pain. And so, I walk, <laughs> so I walk away, and I go up to my buddy Damon, and I say, hey, I just got into the cock ski, and he's like, what? And I'm like, I'll tell you about it at lunch. And so we get to lunch, and I tell him that I joined the entire cock ski, and that they, I have my own partner, and he's like, why would you do that? And so I say, because, isn't that, I felt bad if I said no, and he said, Damon says, I would have said no. Damon's a weeb, but I don't know if he's going to join a whole Akoxi group. We were going to dress up as the Akoxi for Halloween, but I still we're still planning that out. He'll, he'll, he, he didn't join that in real life. And so he's like, you know they're doing real missions, right? And I look at him, I'm like, what do you mean by real missions? And apparently these dudes were going around bothering students saying, do you need help or have you lost anything? And I'm like, what did I get myself into? So much ends, and I go with these dudes, and they're like, okay, first of all, new trainee. Apparently, they call me new trainee, but I'm literally the most OP person on the team because they literally cannot drop kick, buddy, uh, drop kick anybody. Anyway, even though the Kisame kid, I said he could drop kick somebody at any second, but he was too scared, and he was a little whip too. He, he, he couldn't drop kick anybody at any, he, he, you know, he couldn't drop kick anybody. And so... We get outside, and we Naruto run all the way to other students, asking them for help. And, and I mean, if they needed help. And so, we saw this girl, and she says, yeah, can you help by getting away? And, and we're like, that's not funny. And she says, just kidding. I lost my pencil. And we're like, a lost pencil? Perfect. And Toby over here was a little teacher's pet. This girl was in our class, and so Toby was a little teacher's pet. So when he went over to the teacher and asked, hey, can we search the classroom for a girl's pencil? And we're like, wow, wow, you guys are so nice. And she she, she pats little Toby on the head uh, like, a, like a little gerbil, like a little class pet, you know, like the little class pet he is. And so we searched the classroom alone at lunch. We still have a few minutes left, a lot of minutes, actually. And so we searched around, and I looked for the pencil, and I'm like, Shouldn't it be by her death? And they're like, no, she lost it. She she can't find it. She would have found it already if it was by her death. And so I'm like, oh, these guys are idiots. So I go by her desk, and I look inside her chair, and there it is on top of her chair. It must have rolled off when she, you know, got to her desk. She must have sat on it and didn't notice. I don't know what she did, but whatever it was, she's completely stupid for not noticing this. And so we, and so I say I found the pencil, and they're like, "You're god." They say in their little little voices, little nards, and little little peeps, pep squeak voices. And so we go out to the girl. We say I found a pencil, and, and she says, "Where did you find it?" And I'm like, "In the chair." And she, she takes me over and says, "I knew it was in the chair. I just wanted them to leave me alone." And then I'm like, "Yeah, I kind of figured that out. I, I, I kind of, I, I mean, I did just call you stupid a little bit a few minutes ago." But I believe that you weren't that stupid to the point where you couldn't feel the pencil when you, like, sat on your chair. And so I'm like, yeah, I thought so. And she's like, wow, you're nothing like that. And I'm like, yeah, of course I'm not. I was, dragged into, I was dragged into this. And so we go after school, and we're walking around, walking around. We, we, we had to take all, we have to drop all the Akatsuki members home. And so where I walk, I'm pretty much going to get picked off because I have my phone. I have my phone on me. I keep walking. And there I am with these dudes walking, and we see a girl, and her cat is running, and I, and her cat is booking it down the street. And so we're like, what's wrong? And like I just said, she says her cat booked it down the street. And so we're like, we'll get her. And then and then they look, they all look at me, and they're like, go get the cat. And I'm like, what? But I go do it anyway, since I don't want to waste any more time. I get the cat successfully, get a little gold medal. And that's the end of the day for me. Then the next day, here's when the fun, uh, here's when the, the little dramatic part comes up. I get to school and these kids say, hey, 
Once it turns recess or lunch, do you want to go outside and not eat lunch? Just go outside, don't eat lunch, and go help some people so we have a little bit more time? And I'm like, sure. So I go outside, and me, Kisame, a little fat kid, are outside, you know. We're, we're seeing if anyone needs help. But then we, then we start Naruto running everywhere, and one of the yard supervisors sees us, and they stop us. They blow their whistle and stop us. And we turn, and we're like, oh, God. And I'm with the Kisame kid and Toby. The rest of the Kakshiki members were working on other stuff. They see this happening, too, but they're too busy working on other stuff to actually pay attention to it. And so we go over to the teacher that blew the whistle, and she's in the teacher, I'm going to call her... Mrs. Strict, because she was super strict. Miss Strict goes up to us and says, What are you guys doing? Why are you running like that? I'm supposed to say everything, so right when I'm about to open my mouth and say a word, Toby says, We're following this anime. And she's like, What anime? But apparently Toby couldn't answer that question, so they both look at me and I'm like, Um, from Naruto? And she looks at me and she says, But you... You're too strict, first of all, and these two, she looks at me and says, You look like you were actually responsible, so I'm gonna let you go, but you two guys, you better not get into trouble. Because I got, because apparently she got reports by students of us walking up to them and annoying them, and I look at them like, Well, we, we were just uh, trying to hang out with them. I make up an excuse quickly, and she, she believes me since I'm the one kid that doesn't have a record here. A permanent one, at least. And she says, all right, better better be doing this, that. And so we're off the hook, and they're saying, thank you, thank you, arigato, arigato gozaimasu. And they're looking at me, and they're like, thank you so much, you saved us. And I'm like, yeah, okay. But then, we're doing a few missions, help the class a little bit. But then, then here's when the fun happens. We're outside. And there's this one kid, one ki group of kids that doesn't like us. One group of kids that doesn't like anime literally hates it all and hopes it all burns inside the trash. I'm going to name this kid. I'm going to name this kid. Uh, I'm going to name him Bully. Or Billy. Yeah, his name is Billy. I do have a kid named Billy in my school. But he, I'm not gonna, it's not about him. He's just not the kid named Billy. And so, Billy will talk to us and says, Hey, stupid anime nerds, what are you up to today? Sorry if you just heard my, um, little perfume thing. Uh, the room, I don't know, it airs out the room. Because sometimes I have candles and it smells disgusting. I don't know why I put candles. Anyways, back to the story. Billy walks up to us and says, What are you two, what are you anime nerds doing? We look at him and we're like, Toby looks at me, and I'm like, this is the kid that hates us and literally wants to stop everything. And I'm like, ah, why do I get myself into the situations? And they look at me, and they're like, you're, you little nerd, what are you doing with these little dockers? You shouldn't be with them. I mean, I know you're a nerd, but I'm not, I didn't think you were this much of a nerd. And I look at them, and I'm like, oh, and I didn't know you were just fat. You literally look, and I, t I said this exact word. You literally look like my table, an albino table. A chicken nugget, an albino chicken nugget mixed together, created little Peppa Pig. You literally, actually, you, you look like Peppa Pig if she was on steroids. Okay, buddy. And he looks at me, he gets angry, he throws a punch. I say, look, buddy. He punched, he, he, he punched me inside the nose. He just hit a girl, by the way, so, um... <coughs> but I look at him and I say, Look, buddy, your punches literally feel like my stuffed animal bear punching me inside the face, okay? Punch me one more time, and it's gonna feel like that again. Except not for you, because when I punch you, you're gonna go onto the floor, smack down, and I'm gonna literally use my Shadow Clone Jutsu, Fireball No Jutsu, and... I'm also going to use a running gun and a sharing gun on you. You're going to be caught under my Genjutsu. You're literally going to be scared of me. And I'm going to use my Uzumaki Uchiha powers on you. And then you're going to die, okay? You're literally going to be scared. You're going to wet your pants, maybe even a number two inside your pants. Okay, buddy? So, just don't punch me. I didn't exactly say that, but I say, 
<sighs> I sigh and I I flick him on the head and he he's like tuck. he does a little tuck, a little anime tuck. and I'm like oh he's like I'll be back you stupid nerds I'm like all this trouble and you stop for me flicking you on the head and on the head I say to myself and they look at me and they're like you're so cool and I'm like it really wasn't that cool all I did was flick him on the head and they're like no nah, you're so cool and so they, and so the next day I walk into school and they say, hey, we're putting on the, we're putting the Akatsuki on the postpone. My, their grades, apparently the Akatsuki stops their grades from being good. So they put it on, so they stop the Akatsuki for a little bit and say, I could take a break for a little bit. And I kind of liked it. It was kind of fun, but they put it on postpone and I'm like, oh, okay. And they say, yeah, I know you liked it, but we had to put it on postpone. I'm like. Actually, I'm kind of happy because you're messing up my writing grade right now, and I, I kind of need this. It was on a high A+, plus, but now it's on an, only an A. I need it higher. And so the Akatsuki ended for a little bit, postponed. And I was at an Akatsuki. I had to take that Itachi ring off. And sometimes I still do wear it. I'm wearing it right now. But yeah, that was the story about how I joined the Akatsuki. If you didn't enjoy this video... I mean, actually, moral of the story is, if you're a fat albino chicken nugget, don't go near me, or else you're gonna get flicked on the head, or even worse, trying on to death. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, turn on notifications so you can get notified whenever we make nice little videos. Anyways, um, I have another story about this Billy kid again. But not the same Billy, just another Billy kid. But if you do want to see that, um, get more views on this video, and maybe I'll do it. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, turn notifications on, comment down below what's your favorite ice cream. And, um, actually, comment down below, who's your favorite e e Akatsuki member? Because mine is Itachi. Who's yours? Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, you little turds.